Boys and girls, welcome back to the ACR League. Kicking it off with Season 5, Round 1 of the Race Room WTCR. And then we've got Season 2, Round 1 of the DTM Races. Of course, it's a new season. Everybody starts on zero points. Everybody has a shot of winning the championship. It's always a good time to start your racing, of course, right at the beginning. Where else would you start it? But let's check out the WTCR standings. Then lots of old names and a few new names coming in. Mika Newman back for another season with Per Danielson and Christopher Carlson. Damien Jensen is here once again. Robin Strychek, different car, same driver. Anders Antel, championship winner from last season, is back here as well. Boom Hass, thank you very much for that follow. Remon Havers is back. Zvonimir Burek is also back. Stefano Marazzi has come across from the DTM into the WTCR. Philip Mimoise then is here as well. Peter Schooneman is there as well. He is Afcape from PlayStation 4. It's his first season with us. Oscar Lindbergh is his first season with us as well. Jan Horizovsky, the only one not racing this evening. Uh, unfortunately, he's got something stuck in his eyes. So hopefully uh, he gets that sorted out. Uh, we have also got Fraser Rostans from PlayStation 4. You may know him as NGR. Fraser. Of course, I've got hiccups on the first ever uh, stream of the week. Mark Gardner then is back for another season. Nenad, Vladis Avlovic, uh, Andreas Wagner is also back for another season. Antonio Armiento, full season right from the start. So it should be good to see how he does. Uh, we've then got Richard Bandit in his first ever championship here at ACR. Ian Brown, exactly the same for him. Piri Magicero makes a return back to the leagues. Jörd Swab then is back, uh, or his first, sorry, his first ever season, as long as, as well as Yao Pedralva and Royne Elm. So lots of new names and lots of new and old faces. So it should be very interesting. Indeed. So there we go. Qualifying is pretty much over here. Just waiting for a couple of people to cross the line. Uh, but as it stands, Anders Antel is going to take pole position with a 229.602. But is that going to be a qualifying lap record? Well, we'll find out right now. Can't see anyone really beating that time. So Anders Antel with a 2. 29.602. Qualifying is officially now over. And there we go. They're on the grid then, ladies and gentlemen. Robin Strychek then in that Hyundai i30R. And we head on to the red lights. There's five red lights. We're about to go out here. And yes, we are. It is season number... Oh, looks like a car has not got off the grid here. That is not good. It's like someone may have stalled the car, actually. Uh, and this is uh, season number five of the WTCR, round one. And Anders Antel's got a great start here. Runs a little bit wide, though. And Robin Strychek will definitely try and take full advantage here. As they come up towards uh, what looks like Radion and Rouge, of course. The front three are separated by very little as it stands then. Through the first part, then. And it's all about managing to hold on to that maximum speed over the crest. And there we go. And Robin Strychek's absolutely nailed it here. Yeah. Robin Strychek may be able to pull a side by side. He's not quite close enough here. And actually, they're under a bit of pressure from Philip Meanwhile. So, Meanwhile, there is in the Honda Civic. Anders Antel goes defensive here and actually could go three wide. The thin Philip Meanwhile is going to try and make a move for the lead here as well. At the inside of Anders Antel. A little bit of contact. Robin Strychek trying to hold it on the inside here. And he actually makes a mistake, runs a little bit wide. And Mika Newman now in the Audi trying to take advantage of Philip Meanwhile from third is in the lead of this race. But I think Anders may have recovered out of that chicane. Will Meanwhile, he's going to let on the brakes. He does. Hits the apex early, but he cannot cover him off. Anders Antel will hold on to the lead here. And Robin Strychek then is going to try and find a move up the inside. Front five separated by four, five tenths of a second. Oh, contact there between Meanwhile and Robin Strychek. Now he's got two Audis in behind him. It's Mika Newman and Per Danielson. And while he's now going to have to go defensive down towards Puon, and can he hold that line? He can. The Audi there turns in. A little bit of contact between the two drivers again. And Robin Strychek's going to run a little bit wide. 
Is he going to be able to hold on through towards the middle sector here? And while the front two are away and well, but is Mika Newman going to get third position? I think he is going to close the door there on Robin Strijek. Strijek will hold the inside line, but he will not be able to have the inside line for the left-hander. And while in behind him is Per Danielson once again, and he does get that position. Mika Newman then is up into third position. Robin Strijek still trying to bite back here with the double right-hander. Who has the inside line? Not quite got his nose in there this time. And the front two are off and gallivanting on. What a start. Start, ladies and gentlemen, what a start. Woo. So, yeah, coming up towards the end of lap number one, down towards that bus stop chicane, the leaders are separated by, what, one-tenth of a second. So it is uh, Philip Meanwhile's in behind uh, Anders Ante. Of course, Anders Ante, last season's champion, both run a little bit wide there, and uh, that could potentially be a slowdown penalty, but they got away with it there. Honda Civic able to take a better entrance, and actually, I think Anders has missed his breaking point. Anders has missed his breaking point here. Oh, contact in the background here, and I think Anders is going to have to take a slowdown penalty. Flip, Philip Meanwhile is going to definitely get the lead of this race. And Anders just about recovers here at the end of lap number one. And while well, they have it, one small mistake and it's cost him here. Robin Strychek is in P3. Oh, no! Big contact there between, well, it looks like Per Danielson and Robin Strychek take done. So Philip Meanwhile leads the race here then, uh, ahead of Anders Anto. Anders Anto's ahead of Mika Newman. In fourth then is Andreas Wagner. Uh, Andreas Wagner's got Per Danielson behind him. And Antonio Armiento, by the way, is now trying to make a move here on the Audi. Trying to find that gap up the inside on the exit of that uh, first chicane. We've got Julieta in the background there. Oh, uh, who is that? That is actually Piri Magicero and Oscar Lindbergh. So Sweden versus Finland here. This is for P8, and Piri Magicero has made the move stick. So it looks like uh, all 23 drivers are still in there. Actually, no, Richard Bandit is out of this race then. So Bandit is out of this race, and Christopher Carlson uh, looks like he may, is out of this race as well. He's the one who didn't get off the line, uh, so I'm not too sure whether he's stalled it or not, but I think Richard Bandit might have got up the back of him there. Now, Oscar Lindbergh versus Piri Magicero. Uh, we are on to the second to last lap of this race. Along the Kemmel straight, and can Oscar Lindbergh get this move done? He's one tenth of a second behind, and you can see that the actual the pace advantage in a straight line should get it done here. Can he go late enough on the brakes though? Piri Magicero going to try and get it done on the exit, and there we go. So you can see the difference, how nimble that uh, the Alfa Romeo Giulietta is. A little bit of contact uh, through the midsection of this chicane, and while Piri Magicero, no love lost there, he's going to hold on to P7. And now we're on to the final lap of today's race. And look at this then. This is the battle for the podium right now. Two Audis and a Hyundai. Who is going to get that podium spot? They are separated by about four tenths of a second between the three drivers. The lead is eight tenths. Philip, meanwhile, leads Anders Antel. So Philip may be under some sort of pressure by the end of this lap. And actually, it looks like he's got a very good exit at the top of Eau Rouge and Radion. And you see that Robin Strychek then trying to use every inch of the road and beyond. And he's still in behind that Audi. So we've potentially got a battle for the lead of this race, but this is the battle 4P4 as it stands. Robin Strychek then, it's gone one way. He's faked. He's on the brakes early. And actually, has he forced the Audi to make a mistake? I think the Audi's missed his breaking point here. He's just about going to get away with it. Robin Strychek not able to find that room here. And again, the two Audis are holding on to third and fourth right now. Robin then maybe going late on the brakes, not quite going to work out for him. And actually, there's the mistake. So he has. He's played mind games here with Per Danielson. Per Danielson, though, holding firm for this potential P4. Around corner with no name. Does have a name these days, but I still like to call it that. Uh, down in towards Puan once again. Robin Strychek still just trying to get into every inch of the mirrors of the Audi in front. He's trying to force that mistake, but Per Danielson's holding pretty firm right now. Uh, but well, I'll tell you what, Mika Newman is not able to pull away from these two battling. So Mika Newman may be under pressure for that potential podium. So through the mid-sector here, Robin Strychek has actually run a little bit wide here, and actually he's going to be upended on the exit. And I think you're fine. The Audis may have be able to hold on to this position. Look at this, though. Anders Antel is battling for that P1 as they head on towards the final sector here. They've only really got the bus stop chicane to contend with, and is Anders going to get close enough in this slipstream to potentially take the race victory away from Philip Meanwhile as they come up towards the last couple of corners? 
who is going to take this victory. It will be a finished driver by the looks of things, unless they wipe each other up. And look how close Anders is. It's less than two tenths of a second. Philip, meanwhile, is going to go defensive. Anders Antel is going to take the wide entrance here. And while we could have fireworks for the finale here in race one, Anders has found the gap here. Philip, meanwhile, is not able to close them off. It's going to be a drag race. And Anders Antel, I think, is going to take it. Anders has got the race victory. Or has Philip got it? No, Philip retakes the lead. Philip, meanwhile, will take the checkered flag here at race number one. Anders Antel second. Robin Strychek's managed to finish up into third. Not too sure what's happened there. Andreas Wagner's going to take fourth. Mika Newman in fifth. And then uh, Per Danielson in sixth. Wow, what a finish there indeed. Crikey. Uh, Philip Mimois is the only driver to receive votes. So well done to Mimois. So again, these results are not official. They can be, uh, they can be changed. Uh, we will get the official server results after the stream. Now it's time for your official race podium. we go then ladies and gentlemen let's check out the full standings philip meanwhile leads the championship then with anders anto in second robin strychek is third andreas wagner fourth mika newman is in fifth per danielson is in sixth piri magicero seventh eighth for oscar Lindbergh, ninth for fraser rostance and then damien jensen is in tenth damien jensen will start pole for race number two is the top 10 reversed antonio armiento in 11th nenad in 12th jured in 13th and everyone else is on two apart from jan horozevsky did not race uh, and then we've got richard bandit and Royne elm who did not indeed finish the first race although don't, i don't believe that is the official results ladies and gentlemen so i will get those official results for you at the end of today's stream well then ladies and gentlemen cars now it's time for race number two and again the top 10 are reversed here so we will see at the front of the grid here, Damien Jensen. It's race two of a 20 round season, and it's a reverse grid of 10. Damien Jensen is on pole. Fraser Rostant is in second, and they go green here at Spa. And well, someone at the background there has got a very good start here up towards turn number one. And I think Damien Jensen is probably going to hold on to the lead here. Fraser Rostant's going late on the brakes then into turn number one, and Fraser is going to take P1. And Damien Jensen has been cleaned out by the looks of things. And I think Fraser may have gone very late on the brakes there, uh, and actually, it's a little bit of contact into turn number one. Piri Magicero, Oscar Lindbergh then are in P2 and P3 and they're actually going to go side by side through here. Never a good idea and this could give Fraser an opportunity to drive away and they're actually going to get through there pretty nicely and all of a sudden they're under pressure from Mika Newman. So Mika Newman then is in the first of the Audis making his way up the field. He was in P5, now he's down to P4 up to P4 but look at this, round the outside is Per Danielson. They are going to go three wide, potentially four wide up in towards this chicane and there's no way they're all going to get through here without dying and uh, well there we go Julie I'll tell you what they've done okay there's one Audi that's just lost it a little bit holds on to the inside line now she's going to come back on and it's all good and that could have been so much worse there four wide into that chicane it's never a good idea but well at this point in time everyone's still alive which is all you can really ask for oh, a little bit of contact there between Mika and in behind him as Philip Meanwhile's of course winner from race number one but look at this then championship winner from last season Anders Antel started in P9 already up to P3 already up to p3 oh big contact in the background there then and there's a big big smash a lot of cars are involved in that 
not ideal and while well, the touring cars have come back to bite people here we are going to catch out this contact here in the background and just check out exactly what happened there we see a little bit of contact between this, uh, the honda civic and the audi but it's uh, out of the exit of corner with no name where we see a real big uh, charade in the background so uh, whether that indeed does uh, get seen as to what's happened oh yeah someone spun oh dear that was remon hadders so there we go, Remon had us to spun the car. It's unfortunate, these things do indeed happen and uh, people were too close to lap number one. Um, and as Anton now down into P4. So he was making his way up towards the lead of this race, but not quite there yet. Philip meanwhile then, winner from race number one, he's actually got a slow down penalty. And uh, you see that uh, Giulietta, very snaky on the brakes, actually holds onto it. Could have been a whole lot worse. And meanwhile, he's gonna have to get a slow down penalty. Otherwise, he will indeed have to serve a drive through. So Antonio Armiento then. Antonio Armiento finds himself there in P8. And they've all settled into a bit of a rhythm here. Ian Brown making a move up the inside late to turn number one. Oh, it's a sensational move then on Nenad. And is he going to get the drive? Yes, he is to the Giulietta up into P11. Great start then by Mr. Brown. And Nenad then all the way in behind him. Let's check it out from the old exhaust cam. And can Nenad respond here? Had to get off the gas there to avoid any potential contact. And, well, it's given Ian Brown an opportunity to drive away here. Uh, but great stuff as they come along the Kemmel straight. Look at this, and Nenad's got the run here. Is he going to be able to get the move done? Ian Brown makes it. He's, he's hit middle of the track right now. Which way is he going to go? Nenad is not going to be able to make a move on the inside. How late can he go on the brakes? He's gone very late on the brakes here. Is he going to clip the apex? He does. Oh, he's going to get a move done. Wow, what a move by Nenad. Well responded there by Nenad Vladislavlevich. And Ian Brown loses back out here. Now all of a sudden they have got Jörd Swab and Christopher Carlson in behind him as well. Late on the brakes then for Ian Brown and nearly, nearly cleans him out, but it looks like he's just about got on the brakes enough there. Um, but superb stuff by DC. We've got Per Danielson. Andreas Wagner is at the back of this train, but look at this. Anders Antel, Robert Strychak, side by side. This is for the lead of the race. Up towards the bus stop chicane here. Fraser Rustan scores from, from first down to third. And I think Anders has missed his breaking point again. Is this going to give Robin the opportunity? I think Robin's going to take the lead here. And I think Fraser's probably going to get him as well. Anders, twice in today, has made the mistake of course last season champion a runaway championship winner last season but well today the pressure really is on uh, the lead's now seven tenths of a second between p1 and p2 with one lap potentially remaining i think it's going to be one lap isn't it by the time they get up to the start finish line again they're doing about one minute uh, two minute 30 seconds so two minute 31 they're going to need on the clock here i don't think they're going to have enough time um, but it is only six tenths of a second so we saw Anders Antel and Philip Meanwhile's crossed the line pretty much bumper to bump, wheel to wheel on the first race. Are we going to see it again? Looks like Anders has kept his tyres in check here and we could see some fireworks to finish this race. Yep, there's only going to be one more lap remaining of this race. Look at this, though. Piri Magicero under pressure from the Italian Armiento. Armiento, though, has got the move done, is he? Yes, he is. Closes Piri off and says, no, nope, not today. You're not coming back at me. And actually, look at this. Mika Newman then trying to make a move here himself. He's got the inside line up towards turn number one. He's got a slipstream of Antonio Armiento. And is Armiento going to drag him along? He is. So it looks like Piri's made the mistake there and it's costing two spots. The Audi trying to overtake Armiento. Not quite going to work out. Four tenths separates the front two here as they come up towards Radio Nano Rouge. And will Robin Strychek hang on? Or will Anders Antel produce fireworks at the end of this race then? This is for the race lead. Who's going to come out on top here? Armietta with a slowdown penalty. Currently, he is in P4. That's going to lose in two, maybe three spots. Up towards that first chicane then. And well, can Robin keep it calm, composed? And as Antel in that very same car from last season, so he's not had to learn anything new. Of course, Robin was in the Lincoln Co last season, this season in the Hyundai I-30. Two tenths separates the two drivers here. Robin goes defensive, and he might leave the door open on the inside, and actually it grabs a nice little bit of an apex there. Won't be able to get a power too early. And actually, to be fair, covered Anders off very nicely indeed. Through no name. And uh, a little bit too much curb there for both from both of them, in my liking. Again, with the new damage model within this game, the suspension is likely to snap. We're still on board then with Anders Antel. Two tens between the front two. It is Hyundai versus Cupra as we're midway through sector number two. Through Puon, as we come through the very technical section here, this is where the Cupra is indeed going to excel. So can Robin Strychek just make that Hyundai as wide as possible? 
And Zantel is he's going to pounce like a panther if he gets the opportunity. We saw Philip meanwhile. If there's one more lap, I think Anders had him. But is he going to be able to do it again here? Of course, Anders did start in P9. Um, and it was P8 for Robin Strychek. Trying to find that gap. Robin defended quite nicely again. But here we go then. He's a lot closer than he was in race number one. Can he get the victory here? As we come up towards the final couple of corners. Through this flat out left-hander. And well, Anders is super, super close. He's, he's opening up this corner as best he possibly can. Wants to get the best drive. And actually, Robin, he takes a bit too much curb there. Robin's going to go on the inside. Anders is going to try and do exactly the same move once again. Will he be able to succeed? Robin Strychek, though, is going to get on the brakes nice and early. Is he going to get the punch on the exit here? Anders Antel's going to get a punch on the exit. It will be a drag race, but I think it's for Germany. It's going to be Robin Strychek. He will pick up the victory here. Ladies and gentlemen, Robin Strychek is your race winner. Anders Antel is going to be the bridesmaid once again and i tell you what this championship is not going to be easy for him to retain philip mimars is in third armiento finds himself in p4 it is then going to be mika newman um and piri magicero between robert strychek and Zanto and ian brown And it's Anders Antel that will get driver of the day. Congratulations to him. Now let's update the points. And now it's time for your official race podium. Well, there we go. Robin Strychek then is in P1. He gets the race win. And as that's second, and Philip Mimas is in third. Again, the points will be uh, properly looked at at the end of the stream when I get the official results. Let's check out what that means for the full standings here. Well, Robin Strychek leads the championship with Philip Mimas. They're both on 29 points. And Anders Antel only one point behind on 28. Mika Neumann is on 16 points. We've got Andreas Wagner on 14. Uh, we've then got Piri Magicera on 13. 11 each for Antonio Armiento and Oscar Lindbergh. Per Danielson's on 10. Eight points for Fraser Rostance. Then we've got Ian Brown on four with Nenad. We've then got Christopher Carlson on four as well with Jurd. Uh, Remon Hadders, Mark Gardner, Zvonimir Burek. We've got Stefano Marazzi uh, and Peter Schunemann. And then we've got Yao Pedrolva. Damien Jensen is on three. And then we've got Royn Elm, Jan Horizovsky and Richard Bandit who are all yet to score. Next race is at Zandvoort next week. So at 7 p.m. GMT make sure you come and uh, come and check it out which is next week on stream it will all be live all races will be live this season <laughs>